Let's build a simple meter using Arduino that lets us measure or calculate the transformer turns ratio and convert that into impedance ratio. You guys recall an output transformer or any other transformer by itself has no impedance. We'll calculate impedance using the turns or voltage ratio. So you guys recall the load impedance of the secondary is what's reflected back to the primary. So we can take the actual uh, voltage measurements or the turns ratio and calculate the impedance ratio by squaring those results. What I did was build a simple circuit that lets me measure independently a transformer. You can see I used an LM324 op amp. I'm using one of the op amps of the four to generate a square wave at uh, approximately one kilohertz. We're going to feed that over to the primary winding of the transformer to be tested, and then I'm going to uh, take op amp three in this case. It's configured as a precision peak detector or a super diode. I'm going to take the uh, DC voltage after it's converted route that over to uh, Arduino for a reference point. Then I'll take op amp 4. It's configured the same. We'll measure the DC uh, voltage there as well. Back over to the uh, A1 analog port and then the code itself below. I'm going to take 250 samples of those uh, voltages to get an average and calculate the turns ratio. Of course, we can take the turns ratio at that point. We can square the results or multiply it by itself to uh, come up with the calculated impedance ratio. You guys can see as a reference point, I used a, a known transformer that had a turns ratio ranging from 5.5 all the way up to 137. So that's uh, my limited testing of the uh, circuit design itself for accuracy, plus or minus 1%. I'll look at the code here, some snippets, and again, I'll expand on this and make it available for uh, download as well. I'm not a programmer, so there's probably uh, lots of ways to improve the code and make it more efficient. A quick look at the uh, square wave generator circuit using an op amp, as I mentioned. Again, you can see the simple design here, and I've got uh, R3 is a variable resistor to uh, vary the uh, frequency range of the square wave from uh, just north of 400 hertz to just north of uh, 1 kilohertz. Feeding that over to the uh, transformer primary winding, you can see here the uh, raw square wave itself. And the math itself, if you're interested in doing so, to calculate the resistance value for 1 kilohertz, 159 ohms approximately. To look at the precision peak detector circuit, you can see the connection points back to the primary winding as well as the secondary winding. You'll see that I did use a step-up transformer, uh, T1, there in the secondary to increase the uh, AC voltage before converting back to DC to increase the accuracy of the uh, results. Uh, diode 2, again, is a reverse bias there, a zener, and that's to uh, protect the uh, Arduino not to exceed uh, 5 volts uh, DC on the analog ports uh, should that uh, occur for any uh, such reason. A look at the power supply itself. You can see I used a rail splitter, a TLE 2426, to uh, split the 9 volt input from a, a battery to generate the negative 4.5 volts DC back over to pin 11 and the positive 4.5 over to pin 4 of the op amp itself. One thing to note since the circuit itself is a virtual ground. There's two isolated power supplies, one to feed the uh, Arduino itself, and then a separate 9-volt supply to power the uh, rectifier or precision detector circuit. So keep that in mind. If you uh, build this, you could re-engineer it as needed to meet your uh, 
particular needs. You'll notice I have the serial port turned on in the code and I'm capturing the turns ratio, the impedance ratio, and then you'll see uh, three voltages below that for analog ports uh, 0, 1, and then a calculated A3 voltage, which is the uh, voltage of uh, A1, the secondary, divided by the turns ratio of the onboard transformer, which is around uh, 5.4 to 5.5 uh, turns ratio. Let me grab those uh, transformers and I'll show you what. So the transformers I'm referencing here are the uh, transformers that you'll find online on eBay and other sources. They're listed as 1300 to 8 ohms, but you'll notice the turns ratio is really anywhere from 5.4 to 5.5. So not uh, 1300 to 8 as stated. So that's what I used to uh, boost that secondary uh, voltage up for reference. You guys saw my setup here on a piece of plywood here for my uh, prototype build, primary, secondary, primary connections for the transformer. And for now, I'm just uh, powering this up through the uh, uh, USB port on the uh, laptop because, uh, again, I've been tweaking the uh, program, which uh, I think I'm done now. I'll upload the uh, sketch. And again, you guys can tweak it as needed. You can see the display reading the results for this particular output transformer, a turns ratio of roughly 25. So squaring that number 25 times 25 gives us an impedance ratio of 627. We could take that number, multiply it by the loudspeaker or voice coil impedance and uh, see how well that matches up against the uh, load resistance for a particular uh, output tube or power tube. Let me uh, grab this uh, universal transformer and hook it up and uh, I'll show you guys uh, how it works here. Again, this being a universal output transformer, I've already uh, went in and validated using a separate AC source to capture what the uh, turns ratio is for uh, all locations and configurations. So looking between points 1 and 2 here on the transformer, and that may not be showing up, by the way the red is the center tap. Between 1 and 2, I should be somewhere between uh, 136 and 137 turns ratio. And you can see that's exactly what I'm reading. If I go from uh, 1 and 6, we should see somewhere around uh, 19 or just north of 19 for the uh, turns ratio. And you can see the uh, change here on the LCD. And of course the impedance itself is uh, updated with that. Now one thing to note in the uh, design, you guys can uh, chime in and let me know what causes this, but um, there's a little bit of voltage difference in the uh, turns ratio calculations uh, when I switch the uh, primary leads around and or the secondary. So what I found to be accurate in the way I have the unit calibrated, whatever gives me the highest turns ratio is the uh, true number based on my calibration. So you can see the turns ratio dropped off just a bit. Uh, still uh, decent accuracy, but just keep that in mind. So I'm going to switch this back. And you'll notice the number climbs to uh, just north of 1900, or excuse me, 19, and that's where it settles in at. And uh, that's the accurate uh, method here for reading the rest of the transformer. This is the uh, center tap location so if I remove the uh, brown lead here we should see about one half of the turns ratio so let's see if we have somewhere close to nine or so and then let's look at this number one more time between one and two we saw 136 let's see if we can split the difference there as well
we'll let that settle in and you can see uh, we're spot on there at uh, 68 and we'll go back over to uh, 6 here and uh, you can see I'm just north of uh, 9 let me go through some of the other configurations here and look at my chart so we'll go from uh, 1 to 3 and uh, let me just switch back here to go across the entire primary and if I look back at my uh, notes here where I measured separately outside of my uh, test meter between uh, 1 and 3 I should see uh, close to uh, 60 to 61 turns ratio and you can see that's exactly where I'm sitting we'll go 1 to 4 and I should see somewhere around 38 and you can see that's where we're measuring as well 38.34 and between 1 and 5 is another example uh, somewhere around 26 and uh, you can see we're dead on there as well so again my limited testing is only on this particular output transformer up to a turns ratio of about 137 and testing some of these really small transformers here that I used here in the circuit to uh, kind of boost up the uh, AC input there from the secondary winding of about 4.5 to 4. Point, excuse me 5.4 to 5.5 turns ratio uh, for these particular transformers so I'll make the uh, sketch available for download. You guys will see the link for the uh, schematics, the bill of material, and uh, the other information here, the drawings, on my uh, Google Drive. I appreciate you guys uh, watching and hope you build it and enhance it from uh, what I've uh, done here myself, just in a short period of time. But this will definitely uh, come in handy here in the shop just to be able to throw a uh, transformer on it and uh, test it without having to hook up a bunch of uh, extra equipment here. It's uh, quick and simple to do as you can see. You guys uh, take care. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe out there.